And welcome inside the 2015 Mercedes-Benz GLA 250 4Matic. I'm Dave Erickson here at the 2015 Northwest Outdoor Activity Vehicle of the Year competition. We have a, an airstrip in front of us, closed course, some 25, 30 vehicles that we're testing on road and off. And today we've got four criteria we're testing in this vehicle here. And that is going to be a parking test, slalom, braking, and acceleration. Now, under the hood of this vehicle is a 2-liter inline 4-cylinder with direct injection, 208 horses, 258 pound-feet of torque, 7-speed transmission with paddle shifters. It also has an eco start-stop feature, which helps with gas mileage. And we're rolling on 18-inch wheels. So, let's start her up and put her in drive. You know, I get excited every time I get behind the wheel of a Mercedes-Benz, and this is no different. This is a considered a premium compact utility vehicle, and uh, this is pretty sharp. What do you think of the interior so far? It's got a nice little uh, display here, infotainment system that's mounted actually on the dash. Let's see if we get a bit of a different angle there. There we go. And it's not touchscreen. Looks like all the controls might be, yep, they're right here with this dial there. So I'm turning it, press down, 80s, of course. Oh, push over, all right, info. Okay, anyways, take a look at the other information down below. Navigation, radio, climate controls. So we've got uh, heated seats right here. We don't want that today. More climate controls, actually here, the climate controls down below here. Ashtray that no one ever uses anymore large cup holder let's take a look at your instrument cluster two main dials good information in the center and now your steering wheel mounted controls right here this right here looks what does this oh this controls the center so i want to go through here navigation audio so on bluetooth technology there's your paddle shifters and this is actually your shift knob for reverse, neutral, park, and drive. See what happened when I came to a stop? The eco kicked in and the RPMs turned off and so did the engine. Now I take my foot off the brake, watch what happens. It kicks back in. And that's why this vehicle is rated at 24 miles per gallon in the city and 32 in the highway for a mixed number of 27 because of that start-stop feature. I kind of find it annoying because of the, the abrupt start when you get back into gear or take your foot off the brake, but eh, it does have its benefits. Okay, we are off for the first of four tests. This will be a parking test. We're gonna back into between some cones and we have a blow up dinosaur. Hopefully we will not hit it. Uh, the backup camera should engage and we should have some sensor or some guidelines that will let us know how close we are getting to danger. So let's go ahead and get in position. Put it into reverse. And there is our backup camera and our lane lines. And you'll see the T-Rex here in just a moment. And any warnings. No alarms went off, but I can clearly see how close I am. All right, let's put her back in drive and go to test number two. Test number two is slalom between some cones. We'll probably go between 20 and 25 miles per hour. Now we're at 23, and here we go. Oh, this is oh, this is grabbing nicely. Oh, I like this. Oh, oh, that's my fault. That's actually the the seat belt is hitting the wall over here. All right, that was good. Okay, now we're going to a braking test. We'll hit 40, and then we'll hit the brake, and right there. You know, that may have been the quickest stop that I've done so far. A little violent, but we got there. That was good. That was really good. Hey, all these vehicles are all-wheel drive, so we've got some, some good stability underneath us. 
our last one is an acceleration test. We are not going to use the paddle shifters. It's going to go au naturel, although the car just turned off. So, three, two, one, go. 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, maybe 53 miles per hour. That was a, a, a very smooth acceleration, nothing too jumpy about it. Maybe at the start because I was in the eco mode, so the car was turned off, but once I punched it, nice smooth acceleration. Good stuff. Hey, we're taking this vehicle off-road tomorrow at this event to see how it does in the different conditions off-road. Uh, gravel and so on so be sure to look for that we will have a complete playlist dedicated to all our videos from our 2015 event here if you haven't already please subscribe we're uploading tons of new videos i don't want you to miss anything i do appreciate your support for following us for subscribing leaving comments thumbs ups thumbs downs your constructive criticism and so on so thanks again for watching i'm dave erickson we will see you next time <music>